Hey guys, how you doing? It is pool time, pool time, pool time. Whoa! <laughs> I won't sing for you guys. It's a, it's better that I'm a better fitness trainer. Okay, this is Kita from KitaFit.com. How are you guys? We are in week five from Total Hip Replacement. I'm on the right side, and I'm going to be showing you some just really gentle restorative exercises. Remember to start the series on series one, I think, and I believe it's series 11. And welcome. Watch each one of these. It is the best thing for your hips, the water. Water therapy is amazing for you. It builds your intrinsic stabilizers, your extrinsic stabilizers. It builds those hip muscles, the gluteus medius, minimus, maximus. I'm going to be doing some toning in your arms and your glutes. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Hope you guys are watching these videos because this is cold. All right, so we're gonna just start heel ball toe here. I gotta start with those arms up. Heel ball toe. Heel ball toe. Sounds really easy. You think, oh gosh, kids, this is so easy. But you really want to take that time to really roll off those that heel and push off those toes and lengthen that gaze. Lengthen that gaze. Arms are up. We're increasing strength in those arms by just holding them up the whole time. Holding up doesn't feel good. You need a cane. Get in with the cane. Heel, ball, toe. Push off those toes. Oh, hello, sunshine. Hello. Hello, sunshine. Hello, sunshine. Push, push, push. Big deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Once I get in here, uh, because I ice so much, I just pretend like I'm having an ice bath. This pool is uneven. It goes like this really fast. So um, it's a little bit awkward. I can put my hands on my hips. This is a little bit. Put your hands on what's called the ASIS. That's your hip bone. And just maintain that beautiful neutral in that pelvis. If this is too much, you can always uh, touch the side of the pool. Remember to always listen to your body. Listen to level one, two, three. We're still walking. Heel, ball, toe. 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 Seems really elementary and really basic, but this is what's going to get your gait pattern. Correct. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to step to the side. Toes are forward. So I've said this in every video, but keep those toes forward, that patella tracking forward, and just push out with the outside. It's called your sartorius or your vastus lateralis. It's that beautiful muscle right on the side of your leg. Keep that pelvis in neutral, chest is up, shoulder blades are back. You're imagining, if you can, there's a book on your head and maybe little teacups on your shoulders, and they are not going to move in any way. Stay strong. Push. I'm going to start to push a little bit stronger today, and you'll know that because you'll see ripples in the water. Push. Together. Push. Together. Beautiful. Keep going. Push. And really, if you can now, what we're going to start to do today is really when you're pushing to contract your glutes. So contract your glutes. Contract. 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 Switch. Contract. Contract. 
contract, contract, switch, contract, 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 beautiful, and back, contract, squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze, beautiful, okay, so now what we're going to do is I call these the monster walks, remember that box that we have, okay, it's actually going to be a rectangle, and we're going to go from here to here, we're going to step together, step together, step together, okay? I'll try to face the camera so my box will be this way. I'm gonna step together, step together, step together, step together. Now, backwards is beautiful, step. What I'm gonna start to do when we do week six is we're gonna start to do these with uh, resistance bands. We have a couple more workouts in workout five before we get there. Step, 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 step. Beautiful, back, step, 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 step. <laughs> That's very cool. Beautiful. Keep stepping together. If you have a cold pool, just tell yourself you're doing an ice bath. And then, I don't know why, but that just makes it seem a little bit better. We're going to do about uh, six of these. Remember, you just always want to go. You cannot do too many of these. I mean, unless you're hurting. If you're ever hurting, you need to stop. But this is just so beautiful for tracking. I'm going to start to make it a little bigger and just a little bit more power. And how you know you're doing this great. So, so my pushback on my right side, I still have to work on that. So this is beautiful coming up. This is beautiful. This feels beautiful. This feels beautiful. But when I go back, it's a little bit more difficult. Here we go. Push back, come together. Push back, come together. It's interesting uh, because the side that I had the surgery is actually my really strong side. So the side that's weak is this left side. So it's probably good I ended up having just to have surgery on my stronger side. But what I'm gonna do in this therapy and what I've been doing every week with you guys is really strengthening that weak link, okay? So the weak link for me is that left leg. Okay, that's Lucy Goosey. Bessie Joe. Yes, I named my legs. And I probably have switched the names many times on videos, but Bessie's always the right leg. And uh, Lucy is the left leg. Very good. I'm just gonna do a couple more. This feels so good. Now that it's it's getting warmed up, it feels better. And the ice the icy water actually makes it feel good too. It uh, takes any heat or burning that's in there. So it might be even good if you have a heated pool not to heat it just so that you can get kind of like some nice benefits. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay in here. We're gonna do a reverse lunge, but we're gonna do modified. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna probably come a little bit higher up here. We're gonna step back, okay? Step back into the reverse lunge, down, up, and just slowly push back, just nice and like not anything hard. Step down, lunge, and come up. Just very gentle, very gentle, very gentle. I always tell uh, patients to remember thinking of a bowling ball on wet toilet paper. That's how gentle I want you to be. <laughs> That's pretty gentle, right? So just down and up, nice and easy. Just trying to get some uh, beautiful uh, stabilization in there. Down and up. I'm not even going to go drop down. Yesterday we did uh, deep lunges. These are just a little, because they're a little bit more dynamic, it seems to go very gentle. We're just trying to introduce that concept into that re -inter -inter that into the nervous system. Down and back, just nice and gentle up. Beautiful. Taking it back, down and up. Gorgeous. Just keep going. Do a couple more. If you get too tired, stop. Okay. Come together. 
take it back and down and up. Beautiful. Come together. We're gonna do about four more. Take it back, stab it down, drop and lift. Beautiful. Take it back, stab into the ground, squeeze the glute, drop and push off that glute. Let's do two more. Take it back, drop that knee, push up. Take it back, drop the knee, push back up. Excellent, those are great, wonderful. Now we're gonna do the standing abduction. So we're gonna take it away and bring it in. Pull the shoulder blades back, keep those hands on those hips. You want those hips to stay even, right there. And just out and up. I'm gonna do about seven more. Squeeze this glute and this glute. They're both working. But this one's doing the majority of the work. Try to keep those shoulders even because this is gonna wanna come up. So drop that shoulder down. In fact, if you can keep your hands maybe on your shoulders. I like the ASIS, that's that front part of the hip bone. But I also like this, and I like to focus on bringing, keeping this down, okay? There's a little instability there. Let's just go to fatigue. Fatigue is when you just see your form really starting to crumble a little bit or you're feeling that uh, muscular. Let's just go for two more. Gosh, it's so beautiful out today. It's absolutely one of the prettiest days it's been. It's cold, but it's beautiful. So I live here in Tucson, Arizona. And I have to tell you guys, I've been, I lived in San Diego as a trainer there for my gosh, like almost 28 years. Loved, loved California. Still love California. It's probably my favorite place I've ever lived. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Portofino, Italy and doing some work there. I just love Portofino. It's like, has it captured my heart when I was there. Uh, I went to this restaurant in Portofino called uh, L'Ostella. And I had their, uh, their uh, Muscato Allegra champagne. Oh my gosh, it had the tiniest little bubbles. It was so good, it was sweet. It was beautiful. I ordered a bottle sat underneath the stars and said to myself, I will be back someday. Inhale, exhale. Now we're, excuse me, we're bending that knee. Let me show you to the side. So you just bend that knee and push down. Keep that posture up. Okay, I'll show you from the back. Up and down. And what we're doing here is we're really focusing on that left, that left support side. Okay, shoulders are even the entire time. And it's nice if you want to pivot like that, so the arms are starting to get tired, but that's good because you're toning them. If you want to do little circles, you can do little circles. Sometimes that's a little bit too much. Now we're going to do a pushback. This is what the pushback looks like. It's very subtle. Hands on shoulders. You're just going to come in and out. Push. Push. I like to dorsiflex my foot. Inhale and exhale. I like to exhale shh when I push it out. Shh. I'll show you from the back. Show you from the side. I'll show you from the front. Beautiful. We're going to go to that other side. So we're going to just start with that abduction. Arms are out. You might want to start just at ASIS. Just nice and slow. Nice and slow. Grip that glute. Pull down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Shh. Let's do three more. Nice and controlled. Get those arms up now. Just add a little bit of extra. Beautiful. Let's do two more. I'm starting to see how I'm starting to get a little wobbly there. It's okay. Now we're going to do the pony kick up. Knee comes up. Okay, again, shoulders lift. This is the leg that's really working. Okay, we're gonna take it to the side. Up and down, shh, shh. Shoulders are back. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, push. Beautiful, gorgeous. So little tiny muscles, we're trying to get around that uh, greater trochanter in that hip area, that psoas, that glute knee, all those hip flexors. Trying to get all those hip flexors. Coordinated with movement. I'll bring the arms up. Shh. 
And then we'll end in the front, and then we'll go to hamstrings. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. Pull in on your core. Inhale, exhale. Two more. One more. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the hammer jammers here. Bend at the knee. This is a very subtle movement. Back. Very subtle. Turn your body. Turn your body. Mine is slant. It's a little hard, but that's good. It's great for that, those proprioceptors. You're having to fire, fire, fire. You've got this water. There's a little current working against your body. And then turn nice and slow. Exhale. Shh. 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 Two more. Shh. And one more. Shh. Beautiful job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So what we're going to do now after we kind of like shake that out a little bit, we're gonna do those, those uh, pumps, okay? You're gonna come up on those toes and down. Just lift up and down. Beautiful, up and down. You can go into some dorsiflexion. flexion, so toes come up. So you're on your toes, now go on your heels, lift your toes up, up. Lift your toes up. So you'll feel that this part right here when you're on your heels in your shin area, your shin bone. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Lifting up. Pushing down. It's your anterior tibialis, your gastrocnemius, and your soleus. I will be testing you later. You better remember that. <laughs> Lifting up and down. Okay, beautiful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do just a little upper body. It's going to seem a little bit repetitive, but we're going to go back to those walks. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add on uh, some tubing. Okay? So we're going to take the tube behind us. And I like to put it underneath my arms. And to make it really easy, you would just leave it like this. So I like to choke up just a titch on either side, just to make it a little bit more difficult. And I'm just gonna push out like this, okay? Inhale, exhale, and then we're gonna walk, okay? So it looks like this. We're just gonna go shh, shh. Non-surgical side is amazing. It's that surgical side. So you see how I kind of like fall off a little bit? It's okay. You'll get it. There you go. You just cannot even do this too much. Like I said, I could be out here for 30 minutes just doing this one exercise. It's just so good for your body. I call it my water treadmill. And it's really getting that upper body. Oh my gosh, my arms are killing me right now. Very subtle movement. The thing of it is, since you've been in the hospital, the hospital, your bed. For me as a trainer, I haven't been teaching classes, obviously. We're gonna come down and up. Touch the elbows to the surface. Let me show you what this looks like in the front. So you're coming up and down. Up and down. Let me show you from the back. Up, pull down. So you're mimicking a lap pull down, okay? Latissimus dorsi, rhomboids, beautiful adduction to those shoulders. So scapular adductors are engaged, squeeze that scapula back. At your shoulder blades. You guys know I don't baby talk you, I like you guys to learn. So you are empowered up and down. Or just turn around. Here we go. So Dr. Dixon did my surgery here in Tucson. He's amazing. If you have to have your hip done, definitely go to Dr. Dixon. Now those arms are so sore, I can't even tell you. And then I had my, my PT done at St. Joe. Uh, JL did my water. And uh, um, I had um, Loretta and Cortino, they call him Tino. 
uh, is my PT. Okay, you're gonna grab the ball. We're gonna put it between your knees. Okay, take the other ball, put it between your ankles. Squeeze up, and we're gonna go to kip position. Okay, so toes are up, knees are forward. We're gonna rotate around. We're gonna swim a little more with those arms today. And all you're doing is squeezing those balls the entire time. Now we're gonna go out and in. Here we go. Very gentle. telling you what all you got to do is a little bit of those so now what we're gonna do so we're gonna grab our weights we're gonna put these balls back in that same position before so you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs and you're gonna put this little guy between your ankles down there or your calves I like to put it right between my ankles gorgeous and then we're just gonna squeeze as we lift up and we do triceps back. So we're pulling those hips forward, squeezing that butt. I like to sometimes just close my eyes. And in your mind, really extend all the way from your toes to your fingertips. We'll do 10 more. Very important to breathe. Eight more. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. Repeat. Remember, keep those inner thighs squeezing. And beautiful. Now we're gonna do a wood chop. Okay. Do a Russian wood chop. And with this Russian wood chop, you're just gonna grab both your, your uh, dumbbells, rocks, whatever. Remember, everything is light. These are two pounds each, so this is a total of four pounds. It's not that much. Okay? Here is your square. You're gonna go from this angle straight to this other angle, okay? And you're gonna pull with your lats. So here we go. I like to extend on that pinky toe and pull down. And I'm just going slow. I'm not going for any power. I'm just going for a nice, slow range of motion. Just slight rotation. Not much, just a little tiny bit. Squeeze that glute. Just try to get a nice functional movement in there. I'm just gonna go for four more. Go to whatever serves you. I always believe less is more, and I always believe in listening to those mechanoreceptor sites that tell you you are in pain. Beautiful. Come back up. Now we're going to switch sides over to this side. Pull down nice and slow and controlled, and back up. And down. And back up. And back up. And just four more. Exhale. Three more. Two more. And one more. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to walk backwards. We're just going to do this entire set walking backwards. We're going to put hands on our hips. And we're just going to walk backwards the entire time. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. 
Just kind of reset that spine. Reset that body. Beautiful. Turn around at the end. Toe, ball, heel. Take your time. Shoulders are back. Grab with those toes, squeeze with that butt. So many times we forget to squeeze in our glutes. Get a nice chunky muscle right there. Okay? Use that. Beautiful. I'm gonna do one more. I'm starting to get tired, but you're gonna know you're gonna get tired because your body is not, not like engaging. So toe, ball, heel. A little bit. A little bit shaky there, but there we go. That was better. Take your time. Slow is better. Okay? Think of a little turtle. Okay? Little turtle. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Now, we didn't do yesterday. I want to make sure we get in today. So we're going to do the bicycle. I'm going to do it right here so you guys can kind of see. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Yeah, let's see. See if you'll be able to see that. Can you see that? Wait. You're just going to keep those toes in front. And you're just going to go nice and slow. And what you're trying to do with your toes, you're trying to reach out with that toe. Okay? Head is relaxed. It's nice and relaxed. And then as you get it, you can manipulate those feet. So like right here, I'm in Dorothy flexion. Now I'm gonna point. And then you can start to pick it up a little bit. One more level. Beautiful. Now in between that set, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. I'm gonna do a nice narrow squat. So if you look down at your feet, those hips are right in line with those feet. Those toes are forward. They're not externally rotated. They're not internally rotated. They're just right underneath your foot. I'm gonna go down into a squat and come up. We're gonna just do 10. Big exhale. Squeeze your shoulders together at the top. Beautiful, exhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Now we're going to go back to the bike and this time we're going to do a little bit more powerful but we're going to start slow and pick it up. Wide squat, squat set. So toes are out, wide, come down and up. Very nice. This time we're gonna do a kicking drill. So it's not so much a bike as it is a kick. And we're gonna go five seconds slow, 10 seconds fast. Five seconds slow, 10 seconds fast. We're gonna do three sets. Slow. Fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. 
slow. Fast. Beautiful. Last set of squats. Okay, we're gonna do right just underneath our body, straight down and up. Let's do some anterior delts on those. last one. Beautiful. We're going to end with our yoga poses. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out in just a lunge position. Just take your legs wide. Don't go too wide. Just where you kind of feel a nice little stretch, a gentle stretch. And then you're going to come down to stabilize with that back foot and lift up. Close your eyes. Try to breathe in and out for five breaths. Beautiful. Warrior two. Chest is up, shoulder blades are back. This hand's gonna go down on top of that knee, lifting up. Switch sides, inhale, exhale, five breaths. Beautiful, same sides. Start together, come to prayer pose. Set an intention for your warrior on the other side. Press down up, exhale, bring your arms down. Step out with that right foot, nice and slow, don't go too far. Inhale, exhale, feel your stabilization there. Lift those arms up, ground yourself. Find your balance point, close your eyes. Exhale, twist, warrior two, inhale, exhale, check that back arm, check that front arm, inhale, exhale, close your eyes. Exhale, hand on top of knee, reach forward. Five breaths. Reach down on the exhale, reach up on the other side, five breaths. Exhale, push that foot back to neutral, hands come up, nice and slow, reaching up, pulling energy in, five breaths right here, seal your workout.
beautiful. And together we will say namaste. God bless you. I love you guys. You guys can finish with dolphins or headstands, but it's so cold here. I don't want to get a cold, so I'm not going to go underwater today here. I'm going to have to wait to do that in a heated pool because it's just too cold. And the last thing I need to do is get sick right now. Um, I want you guys to remember to just hang in there. You got this, okay? Just listen to that body. Uh, when I'm done here, I will be going right home and icing, so make sure you ice that hip. Always ice, 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 and drink lots of water, okay? I love you guys. Eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and clean, lean sources of protein. All right, you guys, I love you, and you know my salutation. Stand in your light, stand in your truth, and above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys.